last time. Thanks for distracting those bunnies while I made a remedy for that toxic fungus they ate. I guess since you helped me, I could help you with your siren problem. Thank you. All right, Rakuf. The next hero on my list is the great soldier, Flash Magnus of the Pegasi Royal Legion. Ah, oh, what do we need some featherweight Pegasus for? A man in Rakuf is all the strength we'll need. Do you think you're strong enough to fight off dragons? I could take out more than some puny Pegasus. Why, the mighty Rakov could take out a whole lot of me, you mm, uh, then again, it's not a contest. And now our story continues. The treaty is clear. If dragons cross this line, they are at war with the Pegasi and their allies. And the Royal Legion will allow you to go no farther! Huzzah! Huzzah! Listen to you! Flash Magnus thinks he's some kind of hero, just for surviving against dragons. You may have wings, Pony, but the skies belong to the dragons! You get in our way, you get burned! Yeah! If that's the way you want it, ready when you are! E excuse me? Uh, hi there! My name is Stygian, and I was hoping that maybe we could have a word with you, please? Me? Him? Oh, uh, no, no, sorry. I meant Flash, uh, Mr. Magnus, sir, if you wouldn't mind. Well, I'm sort of in the middle of something, but... Wait, what am I saying? Of course I mind! Get out of here, little pony. This is no place for you. It's about to be a battlefield. Go home. But... I can't. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll handle this. Rakuf, no! Now you listen here, you hard-headed, fancy-fetted, sky-trotting, glorified cloud mover! You've got a lot of nerve shouting down a pony half your size! Let's see if you think you're big enough to shout me down! Uh, do, do you know these ponies? No! And it is unwise of these earthbound ponies to interfere in an argument between Pegasi and dragons. Yeah. Baby, I'll flambe this rock pony just to give you a preview of what you'll get. Listen here, you have a groaning water! No pony was talking to you! Why don't you fly back to a cave where nobody has to look at that ugly mug of yours? And pretty boy, you wanna talk about unwise? Continuing to ignore the great rock of hero of the north is about the unwisest thing anybody's ever done! Now get your feather flake down here! Want me to toast him? <sighs> Guess I have to deal with this. Can you give me a minute? Sure, bro. I'm kinda curious how this goes. Good luck. Thanks. What is the meaning of this? I am the commander of the Royal Legion, and I am trying to- Anastigian, I got to pay attention. Now make the saddest pitch. Hi again, Mr. Magnus. My name is Stygian, and I have a big problem. Is it bigger than dragons? I, uh, I actually think it might be. Oh shit, really? I'm not just an awfully hard at a fire-breathing friends. Am I? I mean, ain't they just glorious, though? With their giant wings and their fire breath? I don't know everything about them, but... Yeah? Looking at some of them, they don't look right. I think they might be sick. You think that has anything to do with why they're here? Maybe you could help. Me? I'm just a pony. They probably won't even talk to me. Couldn't hurt to ask. You think I should? And if they could do it to my entire town in a single night, what's to stop them from doing it to every pony? So, they did all of this just with singing, and they came from the ocean. Well, it does sound like a worthy adventure. I'd like to... What am I saying? Look, kid, here's the thing. The Royal Legion defends the skies of Equestria. Dragons are my business. Griffins! Really big birds! Our fortress is nowhere near the ocean, so I've got no business getting involved with- Are you guys even listening to me? Are you sure she's safe? You've seen her work. Flash, what if we could fix this problem with the dragons? Get them to leave without a fight? You clearly don't know anything about dragons. But if we did, would you help our boy Stygian here? Listen, you seem like good bounties, and I wish you luck, but I don't have time for this. I have to deal with these... Dragons! What... Where are the dragons going? Huh? Oh. They're going home. 
I just finished talking to them and they were so nice. I know every pony says dragons are mean, but when you ask a few questions, they're really just animals like us. Ha! I told you she could do it! So, how did you do it? They came here because some dragons got sick with what they called wing break, making dragons lose their wings. But I've treated plenty of crocs and I recognize scale rot when I see it. The only plant they knew they could cure it grows in the south, so they felt like they had to come get it. But I just gave them a bottle of my own remedy and I told them how to make it. It's pretty easy, really. So, Mr. Flash Magnus, are you coming with us? I... Uh, I guess so. So, where is this village? We're not headed there just yet. We have a few more heroes to pick up. Next up is Southern Equestria. Oh, I've always wanted to go. Rockhoof? What's troubling you? How did you know I could help with the dragons? I never would have thought I could. I didn't know for sure, but I had an inkling. You're a good pony. You care about other creatures. I saw the animals in the swamp respected you. I learned a long time ago. Sometimes taking time to find out what your enemy wants proves they were never an enemy to begin with. And you got a good head on your shoulders. Backstage in there. I figured one of you talking to the Pegasi and the other talking to the dragons. One of you would figure it out. Thanks, Rockhoof. You're a good friend. 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 I'm worried about how much damage the sirens might do to my town. Well, let's go in there and get them. I bet the four of us could take them. No, no, no. We need to cover all of our bases. If we run in half prepared, they may get control over us as well. Then who will save us? What are we waiting for? What else do we need? I could take them out myself and the rest of you could watch. Well, I think there are certain elements that heroes possess that allow them to save the world. Such as? Rockhoof is strong. Obviously, strength is one of the biggest traits associated with heroes. Flash Madness, you are fast. I think speed is probably important. Can't argue with that. Though, I wouldn't say fast is my big- Each metal block is connected with nature. Nature's a strength a lot of ponies forget about. Like a hidden greatness. And what about these other ponies? Well, the two ponies we haven't gone after yet are wisdom and, like, some sort of spirity soul kind of magic. And what about you? What kind of hero are you? Me? Oh, I am not a hero. I am just a pony. The only one I'm not sure about is this one we're looking for now. There's something special about her, but I don't know what to call it. Maybe... Brains. No, not brains. More like a kind of... Brains. Just to be sure I didn't spill one of my potions, the rest of y'all were seeing this too, right? You mean the parties wrapped in bandages? Because if you do, I seem to. There's something not right about this. Uh, Stygian, you seem like a nice kid, but there's a lot not right about this. That's not what I mean. These are mummies. They're legendary creatures in Southern Equestria. Well, they look mighty real to me. But they're not supposed to be aggressive. And they definitely aren't supposed to attack in groups. This may be a first, but I don't have a potion for that. Well, if these are legendary creatures, Rockhoof, I guess we don't have to worry about not hurting any pony. Huh? Oh, I got ya! How should we do this? On three... One... Two... Three! Well... Huh. I guess we can just stay back and let them wrap this up, huh? Speak for yourself! I've been spoiling for a fight! Why do you think I got all those acid potions? Oh, yeah, something is definitely not right here. That's it. Why are they saying brains? They're mummies, not... Brains! Zombies! Guys, this is getting out of control! I don't think we can fight all of them! That doesn't mean I have to stop trying! I think Stygia may be right. We're running out of room to fight! Nothing I do slows them down! I tried stink bombs, slow potions, even a shrimp potion! Nothing works! That goes with what I was saying! These guys aren't mummies! Mummies don't want brains! Zombies do! It's like somebody created mummies that doesn't understand how mummies work! And what are they, smart guy? I don't know! I'll do. Who said that? I'll do. Can you see me? No? Oh, really? Hold on, just a minute. 
Look out! <laughs> that is certainly one way to escape a phony pile. Greetings, I am Somnambula. It is a relief to see some pony not wrapped in bandages. Yeah, about that. Right, they're not really mummies. Then what are they? They are nothing. More precisely, they are nightmares projected by a pony who put on a cursed artifact. Ah, so they're working on dream logic. Sometimes things get messed up in your dreams, like- Just a moment. Do any of you ponies know how to crack an emerald? Have you tried hitting it real hard? I have, but I like your approach. Very direct. Some gems we used to use in our armor cracked when we flew too high. Hmm. Well, it is being worn by a pony I cannot carry, so... It's not the height. It's probably the change in temperature. Lots of gems crack in extreme cold or heat. Hmm, that's a start. But how do we make it extremely hot or cold? I have something for that. And he looks just like the other mummies? Mm-hmm. But he is wearing a big flashy brooch with an emerald on it. I see him. Right at 10 o'clock. Got it. Okay, now Roku. I need you to fling me from the shovel as hard as you can. Uh, wait, why are you doing this? Especially while carrying an ass potion. You could freeze yourself. Oh, Meadowbrook. It is sweet that you are worried about me already. But I assure you, I will be fine. We need the element of surprise. Well, you'll have that for sure. Can't say I've ever used my shovel to throw a pony. Then, once the day is saved, I can join your little group. Wait, how did you know we were forming a group? A team of ponies this super does not simply happen. I thought it was... OBVIOUS! Almost there? Stay on target. Stay on target! Huh? So what just... It worked! It... Somnambula! That was insane! You're my kind of hero! Thanks, Rokuth. Oh, I should probably introduce you. This is my friend, Prince Hison. But he was the Emerald Mummy. Yes, some pony gave him a cursed Emerald brooch. I what? It seems some enemy was attempting to destroy you. Turned you into a mummy with a whole bunch of mummy servants. A uh, who now? With what? It was pretty dicey for a moment, but my new team was able to save you. So, what is the plan, new team? Are we taking back the streets? Protecting those who hate and fear us? Bringing together Equestria's mightiest heroes to face a common threat? I guess mostly that last one. Fantastic! What is next? A living island? Time travel? Space? Actually, a greenhouse. Fantastic! I love plants. Hey, me too! I have a good feeling about you guys. This is definitely not the sort of team that will be ended by a well-threatening magical battle. Why would I even say that? Yes, I can tell all of you are feeling it. You're right, a big change is coming. But not to worry, I'm going to make sure all of you are well taken care of, and I'll be back before you know it. I have to get out there and spread beauty to the rest of the world. Oh! <laughs> Until next time.